Hello everyone, it is me, Atari HMB, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what is a low effort versus a high effort feat. And I think this is a topic that's overlooked in most versus battles, especially in any form of the scenario for power scaling. But we're going to take a dive into it. And again, we're going to keep this just short and good size video. But let me just throw in a couple examples for you. So just because someone ranks in the same tiering system doesn't mean that that level of ability is consistent at all. So let's take a look at someone who's well, what we presume is a planet level being such as Frieza. Let's take a look at Frieza in his first form versus Boros. I think a lot of people get the notion that Boros can scale to final form Frieza, but you really need to pay attention that Boros is a planet buster, but the key is to all his energy. This means it's a high effort feat, but with Frieza, it's a low effort feat because he was sitting in the chair by using a mere finger and not just destroying a planet which is obviously the size of Earth, but 10 times gravity. So that already shows that Frieza is orders of magnitude above Boros, as well as just being very casual. That's the term casual, which means it's easy for someone to do. Again, if you look at a character such as, let's say, one of the stronger characters in Marvel who can also destroy a universe, you don't really think they can beat someone like Super Saiyan God Goku, do you? Well, I would have to say that even if they were both, well, even let's lowball Super Saiyan God Goku, let's say if they were both universal, it still wouldn't be to the degree of Super Saiyan God Goku who can literally throw out a punch, where the narrator confirms to us as the audience every punch had the equivalent of enough force to destroy the universe. It was just being canceled out and properly key controlled. Why? Because of plot. Again, they do the same thing for DC and Marvel, so don't attack Dragon Ball. It's not the only show that does it, and so does Naruto and Bleach. But the point I'm trying to make here is, as you can see, Beerus and Goku literally are exchanging punches. Beerus even tells Goku, your punches got stronger five, five minutes ago than it is now. I mean, every chop, every knee. Again, showing that they are very casual at destroying universes, so even if you fought them or put them up against someone who can, let's say, destroy, uh, you know, 100 universes at the same time with just, you know, a big attack versus Goku who could throw out hundreds of punches with the same level of strength casually. You know, it, I understand it sounds stupid and that's because it is, but that's Dragon Ball characters for you. They were never designed to be characters that made conventional sense and logic. But essentially, yeah, according to the narrative on the high end feat of what Goku and Beerus were doing, Every punch he throws is equivalent to that of destroying a universe, or I should say, in this context, destroying a infinite size universe along with a transcendent afterlife that transcends the hyperspace and other, you know, possible spatial dimensions. Or temporal. But the main point I'm making is this. Low effort versus high effort. What is it to take away from this video? So the main point is you want to take away is understand that a low effort feat is generally more impressive than a high effort in more cases than one. Take a look at Tagurl, he shouted at Yusuke's spirit gun which had enough force to destroy the mountain. Keep in mind Yusuke was suppressed by one fifth of his power with the spirit cuffs and Tagurl used just merely his voice. Keep in mind Yusuke was also only using 60% of that one you know, fifth strength which makes it about I believe 12% based on mathematics so Tagurl is still way stronger than Yusuke who released at least 100% of that so basically something that was 10 times more potent in destroying that mountain Tagurl just brushed it off with his voice. So put that into a factor so if you ever had a Tagurl versus All Might or Tagurl versus Deep Sea King I'll be honest with you he would just yell at them and they would die um, if you want to look at it realistically in fact his aura his spiritual aura alone would just destroy them because if you factor in the low effortness he's so astronomically stronger than them it wouldn't even be a competition but I think that's it for this video. I think those were good enough examples to show you guys. Again, this is just a small video to just go over one of the more overlooked analysis and circumstances that most people don't see in any type of versus battle. And I think I'm just throwing one more for a treat. You know, if I take someone like Chin Zhao or Luffy who can beat Chin Zhao very casually in his gear second form, and then I compare him to, uh, you know, Ezdef, who has a high effort feat versus Luffy really having a medium or mid-low effort feat for destroying or splitting an ice continent, which scales to about the same yield as a storm in this context. Guess what? I, I can easily just say Luffy just destroys Ezdef in an instant. I mean, also factoring in a speed, but again, that's just an example. But again, I think that should be it for this video, for real this time. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Atari HMB, and I am signing off. Peace. <laughs>